Welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, thank you for joining. This is Caroline. So today I'm going to be doing a draw this in your style challenge. I'll put in the link below the handle of the Instagram artist that put up this draw this in your style challenge. This is their original character that I'm drawing. I'm starting off with using the um, sketch, I think it's 6B tool on Procreate on my iPad. Um, to start with the sketch, I always like to start with a nice red for the sketch to help when I'm going over later with the liner and I'll lower the opacity. Um, I just think it's easier to see when you're going over because if you do, I don't know, like a purple or a black or dark blue, it's kind of going to blend in when you're doing the liner and it's going to get confusing. So for the liner, I'm using a ink tool. I think it's syrup. I may be wrong. I'm not sure. Um, I went a little bit thinner this time in terms of my lines. I usually do thicker lines. Uh, I probably could have gone even thinner to be honest, but I'm kind of happy where it landed. Um, it was more in the direction I wanted to go in, something I normally don't do. I'm also adding my shading into my liner of where the light source is coming from. Um, this was a really cool character to do. Um, the color palette was also really fun. I used three different tools for coloring for this piece. So the base of what I did was, um, again, the ink tool that I used for the line art. I used um, different layers and the lighten um, setting to go over top for that shading with that blue tint. I also used the watercolor tool um, to do a lot of the shading in this piece. I really like the, the soft watercolor blending. My only issue right now is I'm still new to Procreate and I'm having trouble with blending the the paint tool like, like any of them that I use for the pen. Um, I just think in paint tool side like it's easier to set that dilution setting um, and it just you can make it blend so much smoother and I can just see where the blending is going over top of each other. I have to do like a lot more work and it's still not even quite there. So I think that's on me to figure out how to get it to where I want to be where it's similar to what I'm used to in Psy. So hopefully I'll figure that out. And the last tool that I used for this was an airbrush tool. So the only, I didn't use the airbrush tool much in this piece. I only used it, um, you'll see on the hands. I use like blush on the hands. I'll use it sometimes in the eyes to give like a softer look. I, I tend to use it when I want to do coloration that's like really, really soft. And I'll usually even like set the opacity lower in layers where I use that soft airbrush tool. Um, I think it just comes together that way. I like kind of that softer look. Um, so what I'll be doing next from the character is a spine, which is actually not a human spine. It's a reptilian spine, apparently, from the character sheet. And I didn't even realize that until after because I didn't know there was a character sheet. And you can tell that it is because it has a tail, but not in their, like, drawing that I have you using to draw off of. Um, so I was like, oh, well, that's different than what I thought. Um, so I'm just going in with the ink tool again for it. I'm just filling in black. And then I'm setting a clipping layer above to putting in, in that red. I tried the red out for something different than what they did because I thought it would be like a fun pop in contrast to the blue. But I decided ultimately I didn't like it and I went back to the blue. <laughs> I, I couldn't venture out apparently. Um, so at this point, originally I thought I was done because I completed it. And then I was like, you know, it'd be really cool. Like the idea popped in my head. 
is that if the spine was actually a hologram, like it's holographic. Holographic? Yeah, I don't know. Hol it's a hologram. Like Star Wars and stuff. <laughs> um, but let me tell you, that was like so intimidating to do. Because I never done anything like that before and I live on the east coast so we were hit by the storm and our power went out so I couldn't look up references at first so I had to hold off for a day to start this. But I was talking about with my brother to kind of think through like of course like the first obvious thing is to lower the opacity so it's see through so it doesn't look like a solid object. Um, and the one recommendation that he made was, like, having lines through it, um, which was pretty spot on when I was looking through the reference photos when I was able to get my hands on them. So I did that, um, as you can see, I'm lowering the opacity. The other thing I saw is the green, blue, and red lines. Um, I was pretty conservative with how I added them, because some people you know, have, like, really, like, outrageous lines or, like, large portions or shading to really emphasize that. Um, but I, for my first try, decided to go in moderation. On top of that, I'm adding kind of these white, bright white, like, lines through it that kind of make it look, like, a little bit glitchy. Um, I thought it was, like, a really cool look. And then on top of wanting to do this like holographic glitch, I want to animate it too so it like glitches out. Um, which was very interesting for me because I, you know, I've only, I only do small animations on Procreate because I'm so new at it. And I like try to understand how to do these. <laughs> um, so basically what I did is once I finished like the the standard glitch drawing, I just put a few layers of that and then I put one layer of it like glitching out which you'll see I'll add like black lines to the drawing and then I did one layer of the holographic spine completely gone all together and then I did the next layer of the glitch that I made but I also slightly distorted the spine and used that tool to distort the image um, and pull it different ways to make it look like that like glitch out and then after that layer I did four or five layers of the original drawing and then I set it to a loop and I did a frame rate of four um, FPS which is pretty slow <laughs> but because I do so few layers I I don't, I just feel like it looks crazy, like it's blinking too much if I do any more layers per second than that. Um, so that's kind of what I ended up landing on for this piece. Um, and you'll, you'll see as I go, I'm, right now I'm going through the, um, layers. And I use, I don't know if I mentioned this, I use Animation Assist in Procreate, which is a really great tool if you're new to animation. It's so helpful. There's a lot of tutorials too on the, on um, this platform. Definitely look them up. <laughs> I really like like draw this in your style challenges because it kind of takes like the thinking away but also gives a new like you I don't know you get to be creative without thinking as much about it. <laughs> which is something I really like. Um, and they really help connect you with other artists on Instagram. So um, it's been really great and I've been enjoying doing these. Um, so I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, maybe took some things out of it. If you have any questions, you can leave them below about how I did this um, or any recommendations of future drawings you would like to see, so thank you for watching. Check out more of my art at my Instagram handle KidMoth, or check out my daily life at Curlin808, and I currently have a webtoons up called
Dust Apprentice, and my creator name is Kid Moth. Bye, guys.